Hey everyone, it's Shiny Sparky, and welcome to Final Fantasy V! So, now that Final Fantasy IV, the After Years, is finally over, I can begin this game. And this is the iOS version of Final Fantasy V, although this opening cutscene that you're seeing right now does not actually exist in the iOS version. It is exclusive to the PlayStation 1 version. The reason why I'm including it in here is because, well, I like to show, you know, opening intro cutscenes of Final Fantasy games just to make it more, uh, I guess, appealing. Although, I think by this point, it's kind of debatable whether this cutscene is appealing or not, because let me just tell you something. It hasn't really aged that well. If you look at the characters right here, the, the designs, I mean, the dragon still looks pretty cool, this, this dragon. But, the characters themselves, they don't look too great anymore. Look at this, see? It's PS1 graphics, you know? It's the power of the PS1. It's max potential as to what it could do. So, yeah, compare that to like Final Fantasy IV or Final Fantasy IV The After is your opening FMVs, and those two are much better. This one, not so much. It's lost some quality. It hasn't aged well, let's just say that. But enough about that. Enough about that. Next up is about the game itself. So, as far as Final Fantasy V goes, it's for sure one of my least favorites in the main series. For many reasons. I mean... I like it more than 1, 2, and 3, that's for sure, but then again, 1, 2, and 3 were the starting point for Square Enix of Final Fantasy, so I give them a pass on those, as to why I don't think that 1, 2, or 3 are really well made. But everything from 4 to, well, now 15, although 15 hasn't really come out yet. But 4 to 14, they're all amazing in their own way. But I'll be talking more about that later. 5, like I said, it's I have mixed feelings about it, but I'm going to be talking more about that later, so let's get this started. Alright, so like I said, this is Final Fantasy V, the iOS version, which means that it is actually kind of a unique version because most people don't know that the Final Fantasy V iOS version, well, when it first debuted here in iOS, it, uh, it had different graphics than even the Final Fantasy V Advance. So it's very different. Of course, this version has not been ported to a Steam, I believe, but it's still unique. It's nice, and let's get this started. So, here we are. Wait, is my volume up? Oh my god. No, 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 no. I think I can double hear it. I need to turn it down. Okay, sorry about these technical issues here. Okay, here we go. So, the other options are like achievements. I mean, it's iOS, come on. iCloud, I think, and help. Who cares? Let's do a new game. Let's do this. So, if you were happy that Final Fantasy 3 and Final Fantasy 4 IV and 4 the after years, you know, I've been doing them in the 3D versions. Well, it's sad to say this, but Final Fantasy V and also Final Fantasy VI have never had a 3D remake. Something that I hope that they do one day. Really, I do. Because look at this. It's 2D. Yet it takes place after, of course, Final Fantasy III and IV. I mean, after as in, like, the main series number, volume number. I'm not saying, like, it's chronological or it's not. You know, every volume in Final Fantasy is very different from the previous one. So, we get uh, started with this guy here, and apparently a dragon. Interesting. And a pink-haired girl. Oh my god, a pink-haired girl. Father! Apparently her name is Lena. Do you really have to go? You know I do, dear. I need to protect the castle. Under no circumstances are you to follow me, do you understand? But, Father... Something is wrong with the wind. I must go to the wind shrine to make certain nothing's happened to the crystal. Yes, I noticed it as well, but to go alone is... Lena, don't worry, I'll be fine. Have faith. Gets on the dragon, and I guess it's gonna fly off. Oh yeah, so uh, the blue bars that you, see, that you see on the side, they're actually on the game itself. I didn't make those blue bars, like, you know, edit the video like this. It's actually part of the game. The 1711 that you see currently, that's actually the time limit that it is, using a 24-hour clock. 1711, which means it's 5.11 p.m. in my time. So it shows you the time while playing the game. Pretty interesting. The bottom left corner is the battery, so that shows you how much battery I have on my iPhone. And yeah, so we are now in the scene with uh, another pink-haired girl, or so it seems. Be careful there, you're gonna fall. The wind just stopped. This is Ferris, okay. 
And now an old dude. Okay, what the hell? What are all these characters? I don't know. I've got to hurry. Well, yes, you do. For no damn reason. Because, you know, we don't know. But I'm just, I'm just saying, you gotta hurry because you wanna hurry. And we get, you know, back to Lena here. The wind stopped. Father! Huh. Well, something rather strange is going on, I must say. And here's uh, King Tycoon again. What in blazes? There's a crystal there. And yes, guys, this game does feature crystals again. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. The reason why I don't like this game that much compared to other Final Fantasy is because by this point, it seems that all the ideas about Final Fantasy were just starting to be copy and paste, at least in terms of story. Because... Um, actually, I should talk about this while I play the game, maybe. No, oh, whatever, it's fine. But here we get another dude here with the chocobo. And a fire, you know? A little campfire. And apparently, that's a huge meteor. So here's the world map. Okay. So the dude, the dude gets on the chocobo, I see, and um, well, let's see, we finally get control, yes, with the chocobo. So, if you go here, as you can see, our name is actually question mark, and currently we're the freelancer, and yes, freelancer means that this game, in terms of gameplay, returns from Final Fantasy III, the job system, that is right. The job system is back in this game, and it, and it is much better in this game than Final Fantasy III. But yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, with this game, um, and the, like in terms of story, I don't like it too much, but I'll be talking more about that as we go. Oh, no, not North. What the? Dude, what the? Okay, so I was having controller issues. There's a comet here, let's enter it. But in terms of gameplay, it's actually a really well made one. It really is. Boko, wait here, okay? Uh, okay, sure. The Chocobo's like, whatever, I'll wait for you here. So, here we are in the meteor, just walking. You know, minding their own business, I guess. Actually not, because, you know, we came in here because we want to snoop around. What the hell? There's a pink-haired girl there. Is that the same one? Maybe. Here are some goblins, so here we get in the first battle. Let's just attack by tapping the A button and A button. They do, like, what, four damage per hit? Oh, pretty pathetic, I must say. They go down in one shot. Wait for the freaking bar. And attack again. And they're dead. In only two shots. We get six experience and 20 gil. Okay, whatever. Hello there. And yes, this is Lena. Hey, are you alright? Yes, I believe so. I give you my thanks. My name is Lena, and you are... Me? Please enter a name. Sure, of course. I'm going to enter... Oh, damn it! I can't use a controller to, to, to control this because um, it's actually the iPhone keyboard. Um, Bart, sure. Let's go with that. Yes, dude. Yeah, so Bart is the default character name of this guy. Call me Bart. Me and my chocobo just go wherever the trail leads us. Bart. Yeah, it's Bart. This rock suddenly fell from the sky. The impact must have knocked me out. Guess it's a meteorite. A meteorite? I wonder if it has a connection to the wind stopping. Again, I give you my thanks. I wish I could do something more to show my appreciation, but I really must go. Whoa, hey, hold up a sec. Bart, did you hear something? Huh? Oh, what the hell was that? Ugh, help me! What's going on? Oh god. Someone's hurt. Over there. Alright, let's go. Sorry, I keep forgetting that I can't use a freaking control stick. I gotta use a control pad to move. Are you alright? Where am I? Oh, my aching head. Question mark? Huh. <laughs> Sakes alive. What's happened? I don't remember. Oh, I can't remember anything. Looks like you hit your head pretty bad. Maybe you got amnesia. 
Oh yeah, I should also make a note of something. The art in here, in this game, when I, when I go back to Bart, you'll see. Oh, something came back to me. My name is Galof. That's a start. Anything else? Nope, just a name. Other than that, my, mem my memory's a blank slate. Yeah, as far as, um, Bart goes with the artwork, it seriously looks like a female. It, it does. I'm very sorry, but you must excuse me. I have no time to waste. Where are you going? I must go to the Wind Shrine. The Wind Shrine? Now that you mention it, I'm pretty sure that's where I was headed. It's decided I'm going with you. But... I could never let such a sweet girl go all by her lonesome. Plus, I know I've got to get you to the shrine. Or get to the shrine. I feel it in my bones. You've got to take me with you. I guess she agreed. Bart, what about you? Sorry, I'm gonna bow out. Bow out? Wait, bow out? No, but dude. Bow out on this one? But the thing is, I've never heard that freaking term. Or that phrase. Bow out? Bow out. Bow out. I don't know. I'm weird, right? I'm so freaking weird. Bart, thank you again. Farewell. Godspeed and all that whatnot. Okay. Whatever. So, we get Bart's again here, you know? So, there is actually a secret over here on this side. Um, if I can traverse it properly. There we go. A chest. It contains a Phoenix Down. Yes, the very stable item that revives dead party members, you know? Phoenix Downs. And, uh, let's see. So, I'm pretty much all done here. I'm just gonna go get the hell out of here and go back, back to my chocobo. What am I doing? But, yeah, as I was saying, like, like the first time I played this game... By looking at Bars' art when he talks, like, I actually thought Bars was a girl, but then I looked at this and I'm like, what the hell, Bars looks like a dude in here, so I don't know, it's, it's weird. It was really strange, I must say. Come on, Boko, let's go. Alright then, time to get out of here and keep going to... Yeah, so we can't keep going that way because the meteor blocks us, so... We have to go the only other way. And that's this way. Up north. And apparently another freaking cutscene. Oh my god. Ah, oh, Boko, bad, bad chocobo. What are you doing stopping like that? Now, don't you give me that look. <laughs> okay. I know. It's just a girl and an old man. And with all those goblins around, fine, I got it, I got it. Earthquake. Oh no. Earthquake is appearing. Oh, what the hell? Lena and Galif? They are somewhere here. Buckle, come on! Yes, let's go. Yeah, so in terms of gameplay right now, you can only, like, be a freelancer and attack. So don't worry about the job system yet, that's gonna come a bit later. Alright, some more attacking. Attack you. I got a full heal, somehow. Because I used to have, like, 28 health and now I was back to 36. And time to attack again, hurry up. I should speed this up too, like the uh, configuration. Level up, yes! I reached level 2! Okay, let's um, can I do it right now? Sure! Okay, so music, that's max, sound effects max. Battle mode, I'm gonna set it to, I usually like wait. Battle speed, set how quickly time passes during the battle. Does 6 mean faster? Because in the other games in Final Fantasy 4 it was 1 that meant faster. I'm gonna go with 6 and 6. Re-equip, um, set equipment after ability change. Remove all. I don't like optimize, because I like to do it myself. Cursor location. Ah, <sighs> remember? I like that better. Diagonal movement, sure, I like that. Lock screen, who cares? Gamepad, that's fine. Bestiary, help, and okay. Now it's saved, right? Yes. So let's see if it's actually faster or not, because I don't even know. Whoa! This chuckable's good, man. It's just moving by itself. What the hell? More goblins? So let's see. Is it slow? No, pff, dude. This is slower, isn't it? Oh my god, it is. It's slower. Okay, auto. Auto makes it go faster. So apparently number one means faster. How the hell was I supposed to know that? Seriously? I'm gonna assume that this also means... Well, for battle messages, I don't want them too fast because then you can't read them, so I'm gonna put three. That's fine. Let's see. Save, yep. There we go. Now we have the fastest speed. Oh, here's Lena and Galuf. Dead. Let's keep going, because you know there's a freaking earthquake coming. 
Oh, <laughs> wow. You guys suck. Lena has already been like almost dead twice. Good morning. Bart's. It seems like I'm not escaping in your depth. Yeah, seriously. Hey, don't worry about it. The shockwave from the meteorite's impact caused, an caused landslides. The road's covered in rubble. I don't think you're going to be able to make it to Tool that way. But if I can't get to the sh wind shrine, then... Ugh. And Gallop is still, like, hurt. Wind shrine, gotta hurry. The old guy's pretty dead set on getting there, too. Alright, I'll go with you and personally see... Wait, see to it that you get there safely. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, it was my dad's dying wish that I go out and travel the world. Plus, this time it feels like, like the wind is calling me. What a sweet talker. As if you don't just have the hot for this little missy. <laughs> well, you're awake? Don't sound so surprised. This old dog is always ready for anything. Wow. Okay, then. Still, if the road is blocked, that makes things a slight more difficult. Hmm. So, what's our plan, then? If we're gonna get to the Wind Shrine, even though we, like, Bart's doesn't know why, I won't give up. There must be a way to reach the Wind Shrine. Right. And we'll find it. Alright, let's ride. Yes, because, you know, three people on the Chocobo, it's not a lot for the Chocobo, right? Actually, it kind of is. It seems that Chocobos are meant to have just one person, maybe two at the most. So, we get control again. Let's keep going up. All the way up. Pretty simple right now. And here we are in a cave. Oh my god, a cave. What's gonna happen in this cave? I don't know. Let's enter it. No, I should... Dude, I should save. I really should save, just in case I die. Yeah, you can save in the world map, of course. You know, like any Final Fantasy game. That was an iCloud message, who cares. So, let's go. Into this cave. Because it's the only way to go, you know? I don't remember there being a cave here. Probably open up during one of those quakes. Boko, I think this is gonna be a little too dangerous for Chocobos. You stay here, okay? Okay, then. Let's go. Let's enter it. Ooh, okay, so there's gonna be encounters now. So yeah, just, you know, heads up. What the hell? What's going on? What's that spring? Yeah, let's go to it. Oh, no, an encounter. Alright, so here we get our first, I guess, real bad... I'm an auto, I'm an auto, even though I can kill him in one shot. It's fine. Or two shots. I mean, auto battle is actually really nice in this game because it speeds up, too, just like in Final Fantasy for the after years. There we go, six experience. I mean, those baths were pathetic. Just attack, yeah, by this point, the strategy I can tell of you, just attack normally. Just do it. So this spring here, fully heals HP and MP and all status almost get removed and it revives people if they die. So yeah, pretty damn good. All right, so anyways, um, in here, the hell? Oh, there's a chest right there, which I should, of course, get to. But I, of course, have a lot of traversing to do. Oh, what? There's a pirate. There's a pirate there. Huh, I see. What's he doing? What's he doing, man? Oh, there's a skull switch? I see. So that's how you get in. Huh. I guess so. Alright, there's- Oh, what? Another encounter? Um, okay, pretty simple stuff. I mean... A strober? Or two strobers and a steel bat. Really nothing I can't handle. Because they all go down in like freaking one shot or two. You can just auto. That makes it easier too, you know? Look at that. See? Autoing is good. And Lena gets a level up already, and so does Galuf. Not bad. The church just contains a leather cap. Sweet. Let's equip it. Let's equip it on. Um. I mean. Everybody has it. We have a broadsword, a knife, and nothing. He has no equipment, no weapons. Um, I'm gonna give you the leather cap. I'll give it to- No, you know what? I'm gonna give it to you, Lena. Take it. Now, what I'm gonna do... 
is actually go to a row here and put Lena on the top. The reason why is because I like controlling Lena more than Bart's in the overworld because the, the character that is on the top in this game is basically the one you're going to control. Yeah, see that? Oh yeah. So, I'm going to call it right here because, you know, it's already like 20 minutes or something. Yeah, so. Yeah, next time, we will continue straight from here. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody, and until next time.